In this movie, we're going to look at just making some cosmetic changes or enhancements to our interaction that you may like, you may not. You really don't need to do them, but there are kind of a couple of things that just, to me, would really refine this and take it to the next level. So let me preview this real quick just to show you, set this up. So when I preview my tabs, right, I click each of these, I get my layer content, I see my active, or my, sorry, my selected state for the tab. Everything looks great there. The part that kind of bugs me or the part that I'd like to change is I kind of want to see the active tab be the topmost tab, right? So it's this label two is still behind label one. It's on top of label three, but I kind of wouldn't like seeing this as the uh, next tab, the, the highest level tab that's above both of those because it's active. And then I also see that the tab's really not blending very well with the base content, right? Because we changed the tab color to an off-white. So, you know, just as something else I might do is I might just copy the tab from each of these and I'll copy, say, the base, the base graphic. Press Control-C and jump up into a slide layer. Going to press Control V to paste it. So I just copied the button from the base layer to this uh, slide layer along with the base graphic. If I bring open the timeline, I am going to want to move both of these to the back. So I can right click this and choose send to back. And I can choose send to back. Even sending these all the way to the back, they're still above everything on the base layer. So if I look at my tab, this doing what we just did, right? We can look at it, we can see that the tab is now the topmost graphic. It sits above the label one and it sits above the label three. That's great. But a couple other things. I don't have that blending of the label with this background. So if I come into states, I can actually add another state called edit. I can add a state called disabled. Now disabled means the button's not active. It's not going to show the cursor when you mouse over it. And it'll just be another really like act like a graphic for this state. So I kind of want to duplicate the selected state because that's really the active graphic that we want to show. You're currently on this tab. You're currently on this tab. Now show me that what that tab looks like. So I'm going to duplicate the selected and I'm going to call it disabled. And disabled is a built-in state, which means it has those built-in properties that recognize when it's disabled that it's not going to turn the cursor into a hand cursor to indicate that it's an active button. And that's all I need to do right there. If I click Done Editing, and what I also might do, whoop, I'm going to come back into Edit because I want to do one more thing for my disabled. I want to change this disabled color from an off-white to a regular a full-white. And now it's going to blend in a little bit better. If I click Done Editing, because it's below this graphic, you'll see that it blends in. But in order to see that, we actually have to select it, change the initial state to Disabled. And now it looks like it's all there. We don't see the text right here, but the text will be carried over just like it did for the other states. All right, so let's go ahead and just preview this real quick. So there's my Label 3, not doing what I want it. But when I click Label 2, Everything looks great, and when I mouse over, notice how I can't select anything. I actually really like that type of functionality. So all I need to do then for the remaining two tabs is copy and paste. I'd even do it to this first one, because I want this first one to also blend in with the content area. So Control-C to copy both. Label 1. Control-V. Did I not copy it right? So let's try it again. Control C. There we go. And I'll send the content to the back. I will send this to the back. And let's go ahead and edit this. My selected state I want to duplicate, and I'll call it disabled. And then I'll change the fill color to white. And done editing, and then change its initial state to disabled. And there we go. And I just need to repeat for label three. So let's come back to the tabs. Select it, select it, control C. Okay, select my tab, select the selected state, duplicate. And again, this is probably what most people aren't gonna notice or care about. 
I kind of like it. I like the, the way it integrates a little bit better. Done editing and disabled. All right, so let's go ahead and preview our project. And I, what I really like also is that I can't select the active tab. I don't get, even get the rollover effect or any of them. So a really quick way to really enhance your existing tab with a little bit of additional work, but hopefully uh, you agree that it pays off and gives your uh, tab interaction just a more polished look.